Hey everyone! In a little bit I'm going to do an interactive read aloud with you and this is the book that we're going to be reading and it's called Can I Bring Wooly to the Library Ms. Reader? And here you can see this is a woolly mammoth. What I want you to think about right now is is this a real animal or is it a fictional animal? Make your prediction now. Have you ever heard of a woolly mammoth? Do you think it's real? Have you ever seen one at the zoo? Okay, so now we are going to start an epic book, a shared reading on woolly mammoth. And you will see this is a nonfiction book about a real animal. Now you might say, Mrs. Franzek, I've never seen a woolly mammoth before. Well, you're right. It's because that animal has become extinct. It has died off years, thousands and thousands of years ago. But let's learn about the woolly mammoth to be able to make some good predictions about our fictional woolly mammoth story. So we're gonna read a non-fiction woolly mammoth story today and a fiction one. And then you'll decide which one do you like better. So this is our table of contents. It says long woolly fur, parts of a woolly mammoth, and then we have our glossary index and read more. All right, so here we go. Here's our heading. It's called long woolly fur. And I'm going to get stuck in a word and you're going to help me. Okay. Woolly mammoth was a mammal. It lived, I'm going to skip that word, of years ago. Hmm, what would make sense here? Let's see, do we see any little words and big words? I see and, I see th, the, and I see an ou, ow. So let's stretch it out. Th, ows, ands, thousands of years ago. It lived thousands of years ago. It is extinct. Read the page with me. Ready? Go. Long woolly fur. Woolly mammoth was a mammal. It lived thousands of years ago. It is extinct. My turn. Woolly mammoth was big. It was the sizz of an elephant. What does not sound right? Did you say this word? It's because there's a super E that makes the I say I. Size. Read it with me. Ready? Go. Woolly mammoth was big. It was the size of an elephant. My turn. Woolly mammoth's body was as big as an elephant. And there's our simile right there, as big as an elephant it's comparing. But its ears were smaller. Oh, I pronounced that kind of weird because I saw that two vowels go walking, so I said ears. Ears were smaller. Its tail was smaller too. Hmm. What doesn't make sense? I forgot the two vowels go walking. T A O. Its tail was smaller too. Read it with me. Ready? Begin. Woolly mammoth's body was as big as an elephant, but its ears were smaller. Its tail was smaller too. My turn. Woolly mammoths lived in cold places. Their bodies were covered in fur. Fur helped woolly mammoths stay warm. Now let's stop and use our thinking voice. What does that remind you of when I say their bodies were covered in fur and it helped them stay warm? What is that called when something on an animal helps them survive in their environment? Do you remember from Project Lead the Way? Did you say adaptations? If you did, that's right. Let's read about this adaptation together. Ready? Begin. Woolly mammoths lived in cold places. Their bodies were covered in fur. Fur helped woolly mammoths stay warm. I'm taking a second to look at this awesome photograph. It looks like a fossil. All right, my turn. Woolly mammoth had two big 
Hmm, I've never seen this word before. Let's stretch it out. Tusks. Tusks. What other animal do you know that has tusks? An elephant. Sometimes it used these tusks to fight. It used them to dig for food too. Do you think woolly mammoth used its tusks for anything else? Ooh, they want you to stop and think about this. This reminds me of Project Lead the Way 2. So this is an adaptation. It had tusks. And what did they use their tusks for? Was it to survive in their climate, in their weather? Was it for protection? Was it to gather food? Well, right here it says it used them to fight, so protection. And then it used them to dig for food, too. All right, let's read that together. Ready, set, go. Woolly mammoth had two big tusks. Sometimes it used these tusks to fight. It used them to dig for food, too. Do you think woolly mammoth used its tusks for anything else? Can you think of anything it might use it for other than digging and fighting? My turn. Woolly mammoth had a long trunk. It could pick up things with its trunk. That reminds me of an elephant. Very similar. Read that with me. Ready? Go. Woolly Mammoth had a long trunk. It could pick things up with its trunk. My turn. Woolly Mammoth at almost all day long. That didn't make sense. What word sounded funky? Do you say this one right here? I said at, but there's that super E, so it makes the A say A. Eight. I'll start again. Woolly mammoth ate almost all day long. It ate plants. It did not eat meat. Ooh, new fact. When I look at this giant creature, I think, whoa, man, he looks like a carnivore. He looks like a meat eater. But he did not eat meat. He ate plants. Why do you think woolly mammoth ate all day long? Ooh, think about that for a second. Why did he eat all day long? My thinking voice is saying because he's such a huge creature. If he didn't, he wouldn't be able to stay alive. And plants, for that big creature, aren't very substantial. It's not very big. So it probably had to eat a lot of plants. Just like reminds me of the panda bear that we learned about that had to eat so much bamboo. Read this with me. Ready, set, go. Woolly mammoth ate almost all day long. It ate plants. It did not eat meat. Why do you think woolly mammoth ate all day? My turn. Early people hunted woolly mammoth. They ate its meat. Read that. Early people hunted woolly mammoth. They ate its meat. Okay, so we know early people were their predators, right? And the woolly mammoth was their, remember that word from Project Lead the Way? Prey. My turn. Woolly mammoths lived in big groups. This helped them stay safe. Why do you think living in groups was safer? That doesn't make sense. Let's look. There's the er that I said, but that e makes the a say a safer. Let's read this together and then think about this question. Ready? Go. Woolly mammoths lived in big groups. This helped them stay safe. Why do you think living in groups was safer? So we learned that about a lot of different animals that traveled in groups. I'm thinking about a zebra right now. So why does that make them stay safer when they're in groups? If you said because predators are more scared of them because they look bigger and it would be harder to fight off multiple woolly mammoths, then you're right. 
And here we go, parts of a woolly mammoth. Fur, trunk, tusks. That's called a diagram. And then we have our glossary because it's a nonfiction book. Extinct, mammal, a long nose, that's the trunk, and tusks. Now you might have a wonder right now, why are they no longer alive? What happened to them? You're gonna watch a little video, it's only two minutes long, about the woolly mammoth. Then you're going to take an AR test on this once you read this book yourself. This is our last week for AR. Some of you are so close, you're only a point away from getting your goal. You can do it.